friends, and welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I have the quest log open right now because Teresa is currently walking away from me. We promised her that we would go with her to the market square while she preaches about her visions or dreams. Uh, she's convinced that the Virgin Mary visited her, visited her and tasked her with passing on her message to the people. And she believes that the last, uh, the thing that happened in the last episode was a test of her faith or something like that. So I don't know how this is going to go down, but I have a bad feeling about it. So let's go and just get it over with. How's life here in Sassab? Much the same as in Scarlet's. That is, before everything. It's quieter now. Most of the work has been done, and everyone is waiting to see what the harvest will be like. Then everyone will be on their feet from dawn to dusk. I pray it'll be a good harvest, so we have supplies for winter and enough to seed in spring. God's truth. A couple of bad harvests and we'd be in danger of famine. Well, let's hope it will be good. Every grain counts, especially now, with all sorts of bandits roaming the country, and a great army, too. I hope Sir Radzik and Sir Hannes get it all sorted out before the harvest. If those marauders carry on, they'll plunder the whole province, and then where will we be? The best thing would be to hide the supplies. Bury them underground, so the bandits don't find them. But what if they threaten the villagers? Most people would be happier to give up their supplies than have their farms burnt down or their livestock herded off. The livestock can be hidden in the woods. Pa told me about it once. Maybe. But you can't hide a farmhouse. Or whole families. What if they take your children and threaten to cripple them? Or the farmers? You can't do much work in the fields with your arms broken. And in the winter, it's even worse. They might as well dig your grave. Uh, Sir Radzig would never allow that to happen, though. He'd come with his garrison. And those bastards who harassed his subjects would soon be hanging from the nearest tree. I'd be happier, though, if they all moved on and left us in peace. What if they don't move on, though? Then the only answer is cold steel. You men and your endless fighting. Cold hard steel. So we're actually going to walk all the way and uh, make How some are things with conversation the on the way. Oh. Did they give you a bit more coin at least? Unfortunately not. They said there'll be no more until St. Havel's Day. But that's still a long way off. I know. St. Havel's Day. On St. Havel's Day. Day, the payments come from the surrounding villages and the outlying farms. Some of them are supposed to pay in chickens, eggs, or other things. But a lot pay in Groshen. Then they might give us more. Listen. When she visits you, the Virgin Mary, what does she look like? Like I said, like that picture above the altar. She just appears in a kind of golden glow, in a blue cloak. And then? Then she beckons to me, and things start to appear. Pictures of all kinds. They look like the paintings in church, but moving, glowing with fire and lots of colours and this golden light. My, that's really something. I wonder if she's full of baloney, or if it's How's actually going to be a true... No change. He's lying in a fever and nothing helps. I'm really afraid for him. He'll get better. Don't you worry. He's a tough little bugger. No <coughs> fever is going to beat him. I hope you're right. I really... D I, Actually, I... it does look like his fever is dropping a bit. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Maybe. I really... I have doubts. I don't think this is going to be like a real thing. Because nothing else about this game is really like that. I mean, the beliefs are real. Your hunker, sure. what are you actually going to do when we get to the market square? Yeah, actually, I want to know that too. I haven't thought about it much. I have to pass on the message from Our Lady to the people. So, so I'll stand somewhere and tell them what I saw in my dream. Okay, we're there. Finally. What should I say first? I don't Something know. like good people. Uh -huh. That might work. Yeah, maybe. Henry, I'm a bit worried. I never spoke to people like that before. I've no idea what to say. They'll all laugh at me. Probably. Um, 
I definitely think that they're gonna laugh at you and maybe beat me and throw rocks at you and uh, tie you up somewhere. But I hope that doesn't happen. I'm sure the Virgin Mary will guide you. Have no fear. You can do it. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have what it took, Our Lady wouldn't have chosen you, would she? I suppose you're right, but it's still hard for me. Think of Matthias. You want him to recover, don't you? Yes. If I don't let her down, she'll surely heal him for me. That's the spirit. Enough beating around the bush. Fingers crossed. Go and let him have it. All right. Go and go get him, kid. <laughs> oh, God. The, <clears throat> the Virgin Mary. The Virgin Mary came to me. In a dream. And she showed me things. Things I've never seen before. They can't hear you. <laughs> a great city. A great and beautiful city it was. Great and beautiful. With many, many spires. Nobody's paying attention. Spires. Golden in the sunlight. And around the city was a mighty wall. All this she showed to me. But then the city was suddenly engulfed in flames. The earth began to shake and the gate burst open. Holes opened up in the ground and from them beasts of hell leapt forth. They broke down the walls and stormed the city through the broken gate. And the beasts hunted down all the sinners. They sank their fangs into their burning flesh and tore them to pieces mercilessly. And the sinners screamed and tried to flee them. But it was in vain. But then, our lady appeared. Mary, the holy mother of God. She covered the whole city in her cloak, smothered the flames, and drove out the beasts. The penitent sinners came out of the city knelt before the Virgin in prayer and thanked her for their salvation. That is the vision that came to me. And I believe this message was not meant for me alone. It was a warning to us all. We are those sinners and we must once again build those mighty walls. Not from stone, or wood, but from virtue and love for our neighbor. And whoever has sinned and acted unrighteously must repent and change their ways. She did it, I guess. Nobody was laughing. That's good. Suck that. That lass doesn't hold Isn't back. she that lass? But there's truth for Brother Nicodemus. No. The girl was right. No. She spoke well. well. Uh. I'd like to see those no beasts. Well. 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 She says away with words, all right. All right. I reckon she was telling us the blessed virgin won't let us be consumed by flames. Scallions. I. She's from there. Fish white she? tails. Nonsense. Just another charlatan. Scully has enough already. True, we do have a lot of charlatans. Driven out. <laughs> okay, let's say, talk to her. Where is she? I didn't know who to go to until I heard you speak. Yeah, baby. I can't. But you were just talking about helping your neighbor. Oh, all right, but quickly, I beg you. It's about my husband, Ambrose, the tailor. He's good to me. He's an honest tradesman and a skilled one. 
but he keeps playing dice. He sits at that table late into the night, and more than once he lost a small fortune. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't know how I could help. I want him to stop, but he won't listen to me. I'm at a loss what to do. Oh, here we I thought go. maybe if you were to go and have a word with him... Oh, all right. I'll come and see you when I have some time to spare. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Look what you got yourself into, Johanka. My word, Johanka. That speech of yours on the square. I swear I never heard anything like it in my life. Let's talk about it later. Right now I... Guta, the Sasau tailor's wife, came to talk to me and... She was quite desperate. Did you hear? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, I heard everything. So give her some advice then. But... I don't know what to tell her. Our lady didn't prepare me for anything like that. <sighs> Couldn't people all worked up? But no, it's true. Your words made an impression. They did. Oh, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Your words didn't fall on deaf ears. And now you can't let people down when they come to you. I... Yeah, what were you expecting? I suppose you're right. We ought to try and do something. We? <laughs> I was just going to say that. Be quiet and think. We have to find a way. Jesus, you're really full of holy fire. Stop blaspheming and start thinking how we can get Ambrose to give up his dice playing. I'll just go punch him in the face. Yes, I'll do that. Well, I've always found a good punch in the <laughs> mouth can do a lot to change a man's mind. Uh -huh. Thanks for that contribution, but I don't think Guta came to me because she wanted her husband crippled. I mean... Yeah, all right. It's what Fritz would do, though. <laughs> and yeah. that's why I'm asking you and not Fritz. Hmm. I supposing Ambrose were to lose enough to make him regret it. If he were to lose something really important, Mal was used to scold me by saying, one day you'll go too far and then you'll be sorry. That's it, Henry. Ambrose has to realize for himself how he's harming others, and most of all, his wife and himself. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, glad to be of help. But I can't go anywhere. Never mind playing dice in taverns. I've too much work to do. But you could. I could. You're right. I guess I'll help you because I don't have a choice. All right. I I'll mean, see I what I can do. do but... Thank you, Henry. Go and see the tailor's wife and sort it out with her. I have to go back now. God be with you. Oh, balls. <laughs> I mean, it's, I hope there's a more exciting thing to do after this. <laughs> I'm sure there will be. It probably won't be all as, as boring as it seems like it's going to be. Hello? Uh, pardon me, ma'am. God save. How may I help you? Good night. Your hanker sent me. She asked me to help you with your trouble. She did? That's wonderful. But she said she'd come herself. She well, lied. Well, she's up to her ears in work. And besides, we figured your husband wouldn't pay much attention to a woman since he doesn't even listen to you. Ooh! Mm, I'm afraid that's <laughs> true. What now, though? Well, your <laughs> husband thought it would help if Ambrose saw how playing dice was no good either for himself or for you. Ha! <laughs> I've been telling him off about it for years to no avail. I even took his dice several times, but he always gets new ones. You won't get anywhere telling him off. Ambrose has to realize it for himself. Mm. If he lost everything he has to me, that would teach him a lesson. And then I'd talk to him man to man. Oh God, no. I want him to stop playing, not to lose the roof over our heads. No, don't worry. Whatever I win from him, I'll give it back to you. But first, he really has to believe he's lost everything. Do you swear, by the Virgin Mary, to give everything back? I'm not going to make a sacred oath over such a worldly thing. My word should be enough. If you won't swear to give everything back, forget it. 
key. Come on, don't tell me you don't trust me. After all, I'm Johanka Henry sent me. of Scullets. I'm doing this for your own good and your husband's, am I not? That's true enough. Very well then. If you think it'll help, take him for everything he has. All right. Where can I find Ambrose? He's not here now. He's getting ready for a trip to Kutenberg on some business or other. No doubt you'll find him at the inn. Uh, you'd better hurry if you want to catch him. He said he wants to leave soon. Do you think he'll want to play with me? Well, he promised not long ago he'd quit. But I'll believe it when I see it. He'll keep playing, especially when he's had a drink or two. And if he's feeling lucky, he'll lose his head entirely and play till the early hours. All right. Thanks for the advice. Man, I don't even know if I remember how to play, honestly. It's been a while. I think I do. That's okay. I'll get him going like a, you know, make it seem like I don't know what I'm doing and then I'll just knock him off his feet. Okay. Thank you, Pebbles, for the lift. Who are we looking for here? Is it you? No. Uh, it's you. No. It's you? I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Well, Master Painter, are you still short oh. of coin? Yes, unfortunately. And my offer still stands. Don't you want to buy something? Or throw a few dice? Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for it now. Maybe another time. Alright, he's inside then, huh? Oops, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to trespass. Just looking for a dude. Looking for the tailor. Aha, here we go. Well, well, good man Ambrose. Yes? Is there something I could do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Aye. So Sebastian von Berg ordered new clothes Sebastian. and he won't settle for anything but the best. I have to go and buy some fine linen, brocade and other things. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. I'll make him the finest garments ever. Oh, you're gonna oh, lose the whole thing. Oh, Sir Sebastian's a man who doesn't like to be disappointed. True indeed. I'll be on my way just as soon as the horse is shod and the wagon hitched up. Have you got time to play first, my friend? I hope I can be a help to you, knight. Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. Take care now. No problem. Good health. May it serve you. You look like a fellow who's been around. Tell me, what's going on in the countryside? Are the roads safe? Um. Yeah, let's try and impress him. Oh, it's safer in the province now. There was a pack of enemy cutthroats holed up in Pribislavitz, north of Talmberg. Mercenaries, bandits, cumans, another rabble. But we attacked them and smashed them to pieces. So yes, the roads are safer now. My word. And who led the attack? Brave Henry of Scullets. I did. <laughs> Bold Henry of Scullets. Let's have a drink to my bravery. Woo! Well now, I had no idea I was sitting here with such a warrior. A toast to your bravery. Bravery it was, I cannot deny. <laughs> Not one of them could match me in combat. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's drink to my sword fighting skill. To your incomparable <laughs> skill, Master Swordsman. It's I rain funny a barrage cause... of blows on the enemy's heads to my strength and speed. <laughs> aye, aye, to when your that happened, I, Henry was such a crap. First, I fighter. had to track down their lair. So, uh, let's drink to my cunning, too. You did have to do Is that. Is that so? Then you have the cunning of a fox. Wow. Is that. Do we drink all that? Wow. Ah. Ah. I think I overdid it a bit. 
do 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 There was a band of brigands on the rampage in the province. They attacked the stud farm at Neuhof, killed old Smill, the owner. Yeah, that was sad. That was very sad. So it's true then. I heard some talk about it, but I thought it was exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I should take an escort with me. I think you should probably, yeah. Not to worry. Fortunately, I caught up with those <laughs> bastards and put a stop to their pillaging. That's good news indeed. Let's drink to your accomplishment. <laughs> it was no easy Cheers! matter, I can tell you. They were cleverly holed up, but they weren't smart enough for me. Ha! To my wits! <laughs> to my <laughs> wits! To your wits! Oh my god, what an egomaniac. Wow, eight more shots? God, I would, I would be completely out. <laughs> Sigismund's hordes attacked Skalitz, raised the castle, pillaged the whole area, and slaughtered a lot of people. I heard, lad. I heard. God have mercy on those poor souls. Let's drink to the fallen soul. Let's. I saved all the people! I did it! But a lot more people would have died if I hadn't warned them. <laughs> I took an arrow in the leg. But I still rode on to Talmor to alert them there. Well done. I toast your determination. And another thing we can drink to. That wound still hurts. We can drink to that. Yes. You know what else we could wound. drink to? That candle that's burning, burning right hell. there. May they burn in <laughs> hell. <laughs> Let's drink to drinking. Woo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a close thing. Oh, I'd better watch it. So anyway... So, you're going to Kuttenberg, eh? That's right. That's nice. I've never been there. What's it like? That's great, lad. Grand it is. Kuttenberg is a big town. With strong walls. And more churches than you'd count on your fingers. Even the king himself has a palace there, and it's packed with people. When there's a fair, the whole town is on its feet. You've never seen the like. But the city elders are troubled now. Sigismund and his army are camped near the town, and nothing good can come of that. Nothing. Uh, let's take it easy now, I think. May you arrive there safe and sound, Ambrose. Here's to your safe journey. May it pass quickly and without incident. Yeah. Ah, said enough. Now you tell me something. I I told you a lot of stuff. Probably shouldn't have drank that much. I'm a little worried. Um, how about a game of dice? Well, enough chat. Another drink! How about a little game before you set off? To pass the time. Sure, one little game to pass the time. That doesn't even count, does it? No! Ah, not even worth mentioning in confession. We'll drink to it. May they roll fairly. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm drinking more. Oh, God. Let's do it, then. I'll wager... I don't know what this means. I'm gonna do a lot. Six score. Six score, Groshen. Jesus, that's too much. I thought it was to be a friendly game to pass the time, no? Oh, sorry. Uh, just, well, fine, a little bit. A dozen Groshen. I was kidding. Always a nice number. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I remember how to play this game now. Uh, oh, yeah. I have... I, I can cheat. Brings luck more often than you expect. And this one is in favor of odd numbers. Let's do the... I don't know. I think I was using this one more. Pretty sure. Oh wait! Oh god, this is new. Some new scoring. 
darker permutations have been added to the rules. A large straight is worth 1,500 points. Small straight is worth 500. Oh my god, they added that. They added. Oh my god. Okay. Straights. A new kind of dice with a devil's head joker instead of playing one, which acts as a wild number in all possible dice combinations. Okay, it's worth a thousand points. It's worth also worth a thousand points. Okay. The drawback of the devil's head die is that it has no one side, so the only scoring side it has on its own is a five. The joker the joker side has no value of its own, only in combination with a number. So if you throw that, you're a bust. Okay, that makes sense. So basically there's straights and wild dice. Okay. Didn't expect there to be new stuff. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you That's approach. awesome though. Yeah. Give me a minute. Okay. Uh right. I have to have 3, don't I? I can hold the 1 or the 5. I think I should hold the 1 though if I remember correctly because the 5 them dice ain't going to throw themselves The odd know. dice has a better chance of landing odd again. So do that. Okay, we got two. Oh, okay, two, three, four, five. Risky. I can't get all the way. I ha oh, I have to finish it in order to make it happen. Damn. Okay, I can hold a three. I, or I could hold, I could hold the two fives. Maybe I should do that. Oh, man. All right. Not afraid of anything, eh? Okay. Crap. Hold me a nail. Um. Not afraid this is of super anything. Super risky. I maybe should have passed. Scored pass. No, I should have scored and passed. It's okay. I'm just getting back into it. It's fine. Whoa, he's got oh, oh. he's got cheating dice too. Okay, this isn't gonna be a walk in the park, is it? I don't think so. I don't think it is. Mm. Oh boy. Now you. Okay, that was good for good for you. Good for you. I need some better dice. Got it for you right here. Wow, I have You can't do this with with That's 800. Can I also do that? Oh. I'll be right back with that. If I get them all in one What happens if I roll again? Do I get to roll them all again? I think I do. Oh, snap! All right, we're gonna... I'm gonna play it safe now, for sure. Score roll again. Use your head, man. You lose everything. No, you lose everything. I got nothing to lose, friend. Okay, there's two more fives. I think I'm just gonna score and pass now. Cause that's a lot of points. I don't wanna risk it. I wanna keep a thousand fifty. We'll see. This will be the one. That's it. Oh no. Oh no, look what you done. All right. Um let's see we've got 2 3 4 5 6. Uh, 
That's 750. Score and pass. Oh, yeah. Those golden dice aren't doing you much good, dude. They're not. <laughs> That'll do me. Not looking good, friend. Not looking good for you. One, two, three, two fives. I don't have a four. Um. I don't really need that many points. That's all I need. Now maybe he'll play for more group shit. Damn, I should never have played with you. Why? Ah, it didn't cost you much, did it? You'll do better next time. No, I'll play no more today. I can see my luck's not in. Ah shit, was I supposed to let him win? Just one little game. And I thought you were made of sterner stuff. Oh well, if you don't want a chance to win your coin back, fine by me. Oh yeah? Don't get too fond of those groschen, because I'll be having them back. That's the spirit. I'll wager... One and a half score. Just enough to make it interesting? Right, let's throw quickly and I'll be on my way. Okay, maybe I should let him win this time. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass while the going's good. I would in other circumstances. We'll take that. There's no way he can lose. You got it, dude. All right. Now we take him to the cleaners. Take him to his Aunt Charlotte's. Ah, uh, sacra. I almost had you. <laughs> a bit of practice is what you need, lad. That's true. You'll get the hang of it in time. Time? But I need that coin now. Come on, then. You have to give me a chance to get my groschen back. You can try. But don't blame me if you lose what you have left. Sure, whatever. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play for it all. Ah, fuck it. Let's make it 600. Jesus, that's an awful lot of money. I've got it, but it's for buying cloth. No, that's too much. <clears throat> Fine, we'll work our way up. I'll wager a nine score. I'm in. I reckon I've got a lucky hand today. <laughs> I reckon. So this episode apparently is going to be a lot of uh, playing dice. It's just the odd day again. <laughs> St. George, guide my hand. <clears throat> All right. What we got? Uh, not bad. Boo, 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 boo. I'm going to roll again because I have the odd die. All right. No point in pushing it. Oh, snap a doodles. You want to get your money back? Jesus, how did I manage that? Fuck this. I should never have started. You want to throw again? No, no. Oh, done. Come on, dude. Quit being a pansy. Surely you're not going to go soft on me after one little loss. Ah, I got lucky. But fortune's a fickle wench. It never stays with one man for long. You talk a hole into a man's head, you. But you're right, though. Let's play. Oi, let's keep them little fellas rolling, eh? Ah, to hell with it. 18 score. For Christ's sake, lad, steady on. 360 groschen. Is an awful lot to risk on the roll of a dice. 
Do I really have to, like, let him win at each of these and then get him with the 600? There you go. Christ, those damn dice are hexed. Ah, bollocks. There's nothing wrong with the dice. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> it's all in the wrist. Oh, wrist my ass. Save the advice and let's play. Let's play for everything, yeah. I'll show you. I'll wager 600 groschen. No, put up everything you have and I'll match it. You can't be serious. You don't have that much money. And then you'll try and wriggle out of it. I got ah, but I 11,000 groschen, do. So, what do you say? All right. If you insist, just remember, a wager lost is a debt of honor. Don't worry, I won't forget. On my word. Do 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 do. A bit slow here today. Your fame precedes you. All right, now hopefully you won't we get win. The better of me. Hope for oh. oh. Satisfied. One thousand. We're gonna score and pass. That's a good roll. I bet he's shaking in his boots. <laughs> Why not hold the one that's not a special one? He did it again. Well, now nah, that makes be sense. The one. Okay. All right. No point in pushing it. You might have needed to push it there. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's see here. Um, score and roll again. Ooh, five hundred. Score and pass. That's it. <sighs> we'll see. Oh, I shouldn't have pushed it. Oh crap, dude. You're about to lose all your cash. Uh, let's see. 200. Score and roll again. Ah, uh, come on. It's time I had a throw. Oh, I just need one more. There we go. Seven hundred eighty-six. Oh boy. Ha! Groschen for me. I had a got six hundred groschen. Oh my God! What have I done? That money was for buying cloth. What shall I do now? Teach him the error of his ways, or tell him it's not his problem. Uh, first of all, um, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't teach him the error of his ways right now, because that will just, he needs to, he needs to stew in it for a little bit, you know, to really realize what he's done. How should I know? It's not my problem. You know how it is. It's all in the wrist. You bastard. You tricked me into it from the very start. A little, maybe. We can drink a toast to my cunning, eh? Oh, Henry. Get out of here, you swindler. I never want to see you again. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't get to get...
Wait. I can still give it back to his wife, right? Uh. <laughs> I. I. That's not what I wanted to do, game. I just wanted to. I just wanted to let him think that. I just. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> well, I mean, he's gonna learn his lesson. That's. That's. Oh god. Maybe I should. I'm tempted to reload, but on the other hand, if I do have to do it this way now, it sort of does fit my Henry's personality. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking I would keep something, but not all of it, and I just wanted to, to lie to him. I didn't want to, yeah. you know, I didn't want to keep everything. <laughs> Whoops. Problem with stomach or But it does actually make sense. I mean, <laughs> probably what Henry would do, honestly. Um, let's see if we have an option of any kind. She's going to hate me now, too, isn't she? Maybe. Well, how did it go with that husband of mine? Well, I tried all sorts of things. I I'm did not going to lie to her. Oh, God. But nothing helped. Oh, Henry. Oh You're my god! I feel All so bad! All I can do bad. now is pray to the Virgin Mary for a miracle. Oh, shit. I mean, he's gonna learn his lesson either way, but oh my god, I feel bad. Alright, maybe I could buy something from her, you know, for $600, and then I'll feel better. <laughs> I could buy this... I could buy this lovely black... Black and yellow hood. But I, ha I don't want that one, because I have red zigs. Let's sort by money. Let's just buy something really expensive. Um, mine gives 14 charisma. It does give more charisma. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay, sure, I'll buy that. I'll buy the nobleman's hat. All right, let's buy that. That's so expensive. That's more money than I stole from him. <laughs> Let's actually haggle as well. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. You know, we don't want to give her too much more money. How about just, let's just do a thousand even. That's, that's like 400 groschen more than, uh. Satisfied? I swindled out of your husband. Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. It was kind of an accident, but like, you know. Finally, a reasonable sum. Maybe it was just meant to be. Because <laughs> I did want to steal something. Like, I was planning on stealing something. It gives me... Okay, it gives me one more charisma. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I was planning on stealing something out of the situation, but I really didn't want to take everything. Uh, but I guess... I guess it all worked out fine, because... You know, I didn't make any friends, but uh, I, I suppose we're going to be going to lie to Teresa as well, and I'm super wasted. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, Pebbles. What have we done? It's okay. I got to remember that, like, this is this is actually Henry's personality. It's just I haven't played the game in a while, and so, you know, I, was, I kind of was going to be nice and not selfish. <laughs> Just out of habit. <laughs> but then, you know, I'm kind of glad it turned out this way. All right. Uh, yeah. Pardon moi. Let's go talk to Teresa while we're. I mean, sorry, Johanka while we're. Henry! Surprised. How did it go with the tailor's wife and her? Henry! Great. I got a hat. I got Don't a be discount you, on a hat. <laughs> I went to see the tailor's wife, like you wanted. Wow. Oh. That hat, though. And how did it go? It looked promising to begin with, but then Ambrose dug his heels in and wouldn't listen to reason. That's a shame. But I'm sure you did everything. As long as they don't fail Maybe in time everything. He'll come round. Thanks for trying, Henry. How are things going otherwise? You wouldn't believe what happened. One of the bathhouse wenches came to me. Okay, we got oh. a new quest. <laughs> okay. What did she want? She said she wanted to find a different job. 
something more virtuous. She said she decided to change her life after listening to me on the square. What, one girl? No procession of penitents? If I helped one soul onto the right path, it will all have been worth it. If only there were more like that, though. True. What do you mean? How do you mean? I mean, more people who want to find a better, more virtuous life. If only we could help them to do that. Hmm. I might know of someone. There's this prostitute in Ledecko. Adela, her name is. And how do you know her? Um... <laughs> Uh, in the I don't want Johanka telling Teresa about that. Oh, no. In the course of investigating, that's how. I happened across her by chance when I was tracking the Neuhof raiders. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. She was mixed up with one of them, and I had to question her. I wouldn't say she was particularly happy there, either. That sounds... promising, Henry. We should try and help her. Hmm. But how? I'm not sure. But maybe we could persuade her to give up what she's doing and find a different job. If she works at the baths, she'll surely have knowledge of some basic things. What basic things? Laundry? No. She'd know about healing wounds, health-giving decoctions, bloodletting and the like. And I could certainly use a second pair of hands here. I'll go right now. You're right. I'll head off right now. If it's the will of the Blessed Virgin, it must be done. Henry, please try and convince her. I can find a place for her here. Good luck, Ben. Also feeling a little bit guilty for lying. <laughs> but uh, I would like to rest. Actually, I probably will be undrunk by the time I get there. Um, and I should also see if I can repair my gear to just in case we because we could definitely come across some uh, you know bad characters along the way so next time we're, we'll be off to Ledechko it's been a, been a while since we've been there and um, I think beforehand I'll probably get my gear fixed up and what the Good heavens, what's all this? Candles? Pictures? Someone's made quite a fry here. I can't wait to hear what Yohanka thinks of this. Are we gonna ask her about it? Hey, I should make some potions too. Uh, can I, really quick, do Yohanka. Henry! Uh... The things by your door. Where did all those pretty things outside your door come from? Yeah. People have been bringing things and leaving them here. Oh. Sometimes they even pray. Oh, they're flowers, they're honoring a few you. coins, some food, and various bits and pieces. People give whatever they have. Some of them like candles too. Well, that's nice and also slightly oh, worrying. Oh, all we need right now. Ah, uh -huh, that will do me. <laughs> Does that mean he's laughing at it? No, I don't want to. Why are they doing it? Well, I think it's like some veneration to the Blessed Virgin. And they come seeking advice, too. Asking about this and that and what they should do. And even worse, they want me to bless them. Someone asked me to bless them before traveling to Beneshov. Others asked me to bless women about to give birth so their children would be healthy and nothing bad would happen. Ooh. And it seems to me there's more and more coming. Yeah, I'm at a loss probably. what to do. I wasn't expecting this at all. Can't sleep again. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't like where it's going either. Well, I hope it doesn't get out of hand. You know how people are. Someone might be offended. Mm -hmm. Maybe. These people are acting of their own free will, and I can't drive them away. But I don't bless anyone, in case you were thinking. Sure. That really wouldn't be a good idea. No. Of course not. You don't not. want that kind of what? responsibility. Do I look like a bishop? 
No, he'd have a fit if he saw something like that. Just won't get any sleep. How is Matthias doing? I think he's getting better. It looks like his fever's fallen. Sometimes we even talk for a while. I just hope he doesn't relapse again. Nah, he'll pull out of it. You'll see. Good. Uh... I see things are looking up for you. You even got a roof over your head. I'm glad you don't have to sleep in that stable anymore. And it seems the overseer coughed up a oh, gosh or two old. in the end, this eh? Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad too. Yeah. Uh. We wait. The custodian's dead, isn't he? Didn't we kill him? What about the custodian? Or maybe I just robbed Is he him leaving blind. You alone now? I can't remember yes. if I actually killed yes. him or not. He hasn't been here for a while. Can we just talk about something else, please? Yes. Yes. What is he after now? Wait, did he did he do any did he do anything else? Cause what's got into you? You're not yourself at all. Is something wrong? I will teach him a lesson, oh, Henry. If only you knew. What's the matter? Sir Sebastian. He kept coming here, always bringing me gifts, a dress, a piece of jewelry. He was so persistent. I was completely worn out from everything. And he was the only one here who showed me any sympathy, <laughs> any understanding. Uh -huh. He was quite kind, actually. And then once... Is this the same More quest? than once, I went with him. Then he had this room cleared out and gave it to me. It's fine. But you're not to blame. These things happen. He's a noble. And he can do whatever he feels like. He took advantage of you. But it's all over. I swear. Oh, Since that was I started new. Okay. having those dreams, <coughs> I me. haven't been with him. All right, all right, cool. I sold all the things he gave me and bought food and supplies for the sick. I still feel oh, terrible God, about it. Again. I think maybe it's because of me that Matthias isn't getting better. If I had been more virtuous. But don't be so hard on yourself. The important thing is you ended it and you tried to make amends. I'm so ashamed, Henry. <laughs> Please forgive me and don't tell Matthias or anyone else I beg you. I won't breathe a word. I promise. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. I feel relieved for telling you. You're so I think that guy's eavesdropping God in the back. Be with you. Okay, well, that's interesting news indeed. Uh, so she had a little affair thing. Well, a fling, I guess. Um, with Sir Sebastian. That's interesting. But uh, Henry's not going to tattle on her because, you know, Henry's done his What's fair he share doing of here? things that are not very virtuous. So, And they're friends. You know, Hawkeye and Henry are good friends. So, you know. They've got a history. So why why would Henry do that? And he's all about helping Yohanka now anyways. But for the for the time being, I'm going to end the episode. And when we come back, we'll be going to Lidechko after I I'll probably do some inventory management stuff and uh, maybe make some potions between episodes. Because I think I'm running low on a couple of them. And I would like to refresh my mind on how to make potions, too. It's been a very long time. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's raining and Henry is very drunk. And we'll be back next time for more of the same. Until then, friends. Bye-bye.